we have part two of a CGC 9.8 pre-screen unboxing. Roll the intro, let's go! Welcome back all. This is AA Comics, I am Aaron Baldwin. And if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. Today we have part two, I'll leave part one down below, of a CGC pre-screen 9.8 unboxing. For those of you unfamiliar, CGC is the Certified Guarantee Company. They are a grading company, and I sent 25 books to be pre-screened by them. A pre-screen is basically if you want books to come back at a certain grade, you pay the pre-screen cost, so they, they screen the books and everything. In this case, I chose 9.8. Everything that comes back at 9.8 or higher, you get cha charged for the grading fees. If it doesn't hit a 9.8, they charge you a $5 fee and send the raw books back. So I did 14 books in part one. This is part two. I'll finish out the slabs and we'll see what books didn't make it. We'll take account, sort of assess the situation, that sort of thing. So hang on, here we go. Let's get into it. All right, this is Amazing Fantasy number one. Um, this book has some heat on it right now and <laughs> No one really knows why. It's just, it's been growing lately. I, so a few months ago, I sent a couple of these in just cause it is a first appearance. And I thought, eh, who knows? We're living in a Miles world. Maybe this will blow up. And it has started to blow up. So yeah, it's the first appearance of Enya Corazon. Um, yeah, Mark Brooks cover and art, Fiona Avery story. Uh, amazing fantasy number one. This this is a book on the rise at the moment. Um, so first, so it's her first appearance, but she's a uh, araña. So I think I think that means spider. I'm not sure. Don't you'll have to check me on that. You guys will let me know down below. But yeah, so I sent a couple of these in. We'll see. Uh, I don't know. Speculation's a weird thing. I don't I don't pretend to understand it all. So what else we got? Ooh, okay, we got another one of these. So we had one of these in the last unboxing. Uh, this is Peter Parker, the Spe Spectacular Spider-Man, number one. This is the KRS Comics Edition. It has the Stanley Art Germ Lau cover, and it's the first appearance of Rebecca London and the Mason. So really cool cover, awesome variant. There's the back, Art Germ, just killed it with this. It's like Mary Jane, she's in like a Deadpool costume. It's, it's cool, it's a great cover, really great cover. What else we got? Oh, this, this is great. Okay, Amazing Spider-Man number four. Uh, Cindy Moon Becomes Silk. This is the uh, Humberto Ramos cover. This is the variant, uh, one in 10, I believe. Wow, this is, this is a book that has shot up tremendously. Uh, so in prior videos, I've sent other ones in. So right now I'm three for three on this in 9.8, which is spectacular. I will, I'll take it. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Holy cow. Yeah, that's a that's a big book right now. Silk is Silk is really hot right now. Everyone Silk, Spider Gwen, Miles, the Spider family is just on fire at the moment. So that's that's a huge book. That's a huge book. Um oh, okay. We got two of them. So four for four. Amazing Spider-Man number four. Again, the variant. Oh gosh. That's spectacular. That's really great. Wow. That's, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it all day. That's, wow. Oh, we're all right. I'm, I'm good with that. What else we got in here? Ooh, okay. We got Miles Morales, Spider-Man 13. This is the Petrovich variant cover. Uh, this is the Venom Island variant. So this is, this is supposedly, this is the first appearance of uh, Miles 
sister. So I don't know. This is kind of a, I'm making a long-term play here. If this book ever becomes a thing, I just, I wanted to have it. This is a sweet cover. Uh, I just, sometimes if I think there's even a, a possibility that something might happen with a character down the road. I, I like to try and, and get it in high grade, just way, way in advance. But yeah, that's awesome. I'll take that in 9.8. That's sweet. All right, what else we got? Um, oh, yes. Okay. Batman 92. Uh, I had one of these in the prior unboxings as well. I just really wanted to make sure I got the 9.8. I'm a big Batman guy, so one of these is going to be personal collection for sure. Uh, another art germ cover. Uh, James Tinian is killing it on this Batman run right now. But yeah, just one for the PC, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the other one yet, but I wanted, I wanted to have one of these slabbed. Just a great cover. Really awesome. All right. Oh, okay. Some indie goodness. This is Lady Mechanica number two. This is the San Diego Comic-Con edition, uh, 2011 exclusive. This is just, uh, there's only a thousand of these. I just love this cover. Um, I think Lady Mechanica is super underrated, to be honest. I think the story and art are both really, really good. Uh, check out Joe Benita's site if you haven't. Get a trade. Uh, and, and give it a read, it's it's really great. There's, I believe, six miniseries out right now that you can buy and trade paperback and read. Uh, so not not a hard entryway into the story, but really great. Uh, it's about a woman, it's kind of like a mystery action steampunk book, but uh, her arms and legs are, are mechanical, hence Lady Mechanica, but she doesn't know how she got them. So the story is like her trying to figure that out. It's it's really cool. It's a great read. This is a sweet cover. I have, I'm, I'm trying to slowly acquire some of the Lady Mechanica variants in 9.8. So what else we got in here? Ooh, okay. We got Black Cat number one. This is a Greg Horn cover, a uh, comic exposure edition. This is the Virgin variant. Uh, we also got, uh, Peter Porker here, but, uh, go spider ham, right? Go spider ham. This is the back. Just a cool variant, all white cover. I mean, some of these, if I think, I think if they're harder to get a 9 I think if I can get one, I try and send one in and get one. What else we got? Ooh, okay. This is a mini I really like, uh, Mr. Miracle, number one. I just, this mini series was awesome. So I just, I really wanted, again, sometimes it's not all about, it's not about the money. It's, you know, what do you enjoy? And the Mr. Miracle mi mini series, I just thought uh, Tom King, Mitch Jarrett's, I, I thought, I thought they killed it. I thought it was a great mini series, an excellent read. So I'm thrilled to have that in 9.8. And we got one left. Ooh, this is awesome. Okay. <laughs> this is Moon Knight 57. It's a Stephen Platt cover. Uh, it's an amazing Spider-Man 301 cover homage uh, after Todd McFarlane. Uh, the pinups inside are by Bill Sinkovich. And uh, it's, it's this is an amazing cover. This has been like a, a year and a half quest to get a 9.8. I think at one point I had four or five copies of these. This was the best copy I had. I sent it in. Uh, I, I thought it would be close and I, I just made it. But I, yeah, I just think, I, I definitely lean DC over Marvel at times, but I think this cover is amazing. Just an amazing cover. Really, really phenomenal. So. I'm thrilled to have that. I actually just gave a raw one of those away in my last giveaway. So I give away good stuff. So like and subscribe, guys. I give away the good stuff. All right. So um, now to the raw books. So we had 14 and 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. We had 24 out of 25. That That is an amazing percentage. Uh, I'm going to give some credit to my presser. 
<laughs> Gary Kendra over at Impressive Comics. I'm just kidding, Gary. You're the man. You're the mayor. Uh, Gary is a total pro. I'll leave all his information, his Instagram, his Facebook, his website down below. Guys, reach out to him. He's really professional. He's really easy to work with. Uh, you will not regret it. Tell him, tell him I sent you. Say hello. Ah, uh, this is the one that didn't make it. Okay. I see. So the one that didn't make it uh, was Sheriff of Babylon number one. Not a 9-8. That's okay. I actually have one of these in 9-8. I was, I was going for another one, but... Still a great book. It's in great condition. This is another amazing read, a book that I just, I think the story is incredible. Uh, now that I look at it, it does have a little like, yeah, it's got a little nickage at the bottom. I can see why it didn't make it, but thought it was worth a shot. So again, uh, you know, 24 for 25 is is not bad. This is my first complete 9-8 pre-screen, so yeah. Yeah, it went, it went okay. Uh, I'm thrilled about the results. We got some PC books. Uh, a few books I'm probably going to sell. This was a good all-around batch. You had a mix of indie, Marvel, DC. I like to send in a little bit of everything. Uh, I've seen unboxings where it's 10 of one book. And I, and I understand the rationale behind that. But I like, I like having a little bit of everything. So please let me know if you guys enjoyed this down below. Uh, comment, tell me what your favorite book was, what you enjoyed. Is there something you didn't know about that maybe you're on the hunt for now? Uh, I'm always available on Instagram. You guys can reach out to me there and uh, I appreciate all the support. So have a great day guys and I'll catch you later. I am pumped after that unboxing. I got that price is right energy. I feel so good. I, I might even go on to Craigslist to find comics. Ah oh, man, sometimes I, I say crazy things. I, I'm I'm sorry about that. That was that was too much.